Hey guys, Sav here, back with some more map completion tips and tricks, and today we're in Dry Top. And I'm going to show you a couple things today, in particular these uh, points of interest on the edge of the map, uh, and how to get into the next area of the map. You start in Prospect Valley, a lot of people actually don't know how to get into the rest of the map, and I'll show you that. And a few other things as we go. Uh, I think I'm running a little late for something going on over here, so I'm going to run right now and show you guys how to get a point of interest. So as you guys can see, and I'm going to hurry before time runs out here, I'm at the uh, Flatland Wastes, and this door's open. This door's only open at certain times. I just hit this stupid... Oh my god, it's killing me. Uh, I believe it opens at about 15 minutes past the hour. Um, for, there's two specific events that go on in here. I don't see either of them going on at the moment, but... Um, Usually it only opens for those events. Maybe they just completed the event. It's possible because there's a tag in here. Yeah, there's a tag in here. They might have just completed the event. And that's how you get that point of interest. You can only come about 15 after the hour. Um, so make sure that when you're doing map completion on dry top, that you come around that time or a little earlier, a little later maybe, to make sure you can get that point of interest. This point of interest that I'm about to show you guys in here uh, can sometimes be blocked by an event. Uh, sometimes these, this mine caves in, and you have to do the, the uh, event to unblock it before you can go in. Right now it is clear, so I can just run straight in. Uh, you can't see where you're going in here, but I don't think you have to go in too far to actually get the point of interest. Yeah, a little further than I thought. Okay, I was wrong about that. You have to go pretty much all the way in. I thought you could just come right here, honestly, but it wasn't activating, so I just kept running. Maybe they changed that, I'm not sure. So I'm going to run around and get the rest of the uh, points of interest and such in Prospect Valley, then I will show you guys how to get into the next area of Dry Top. <clears throat> Uh, real quick while I'm doing this point of interest right here guys I'll show you a quick misconception I've seen quite a few times from people uh, who were not around for Living World Season 2 so in other words fairly real, like really new people uh, the Sour Man of Drake leaves me all alone this door never opens this is not going to open for you guys this is this opens only for uh, the story uh, it, there's something in there you do for the story so this is not going to open there is no reason this never opens for any reason other than when you're in instance story so don't stand here and wait for this to open you'll be standing here a very 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 long time uh, this hero point is actually uh, in the third or fourth section of the map you have to come and uh, you'll see when we get there um, it's not behind this gate Alright guys, here we are outside of a little hut in the town of Prosperity. Uh, if you do do Living World Season 2, you'll know this area um, for a lot of story. However, if you don't ever do Living World Season 2, you're never going to know anything about the story in here. I mean, you could go back and look at Let's Plays and all that stuff, but you'll have never reason to come in here other than map completion um, of Dry Top. So, as you can see, we take these little... Uh, Orby things across this, the quicksand here. And we're in the town of Prosperity. We go into this open door. And there's a hole in the wall. Which takes us down underneath of it. Uh, there's some cave spiders down here. Not a big deal. There's a whole lot of stuff you can interact with down here. Nothing really that big of a deal. Uh, go back behind the steps and take the passageway. Get off of me, will you? And just follow the uh, passageway up, wrap around, kind of wind our way up. And when we get to the top, the Treadrock Uplands. Not enough energy. And a little cutscene. Okay, so from the Restoration Refuge Waypoint, as you see, I just kind of got here. I'll show you guys how to get here through the uh, through the hut at Pros the Town of Prosperity. We uh, grab one of these Orby thingies, which gives us the one button. The one button gives us a big leap, and we're leap up here. And I think we made. Oh. I need to go up one more. 
Yeah, I need to go up one more. Maybe I can just glide. Yeah, I can just glide. You need to go up to this ledge here. And there's an opening somewhere up here. Yeah, right here. Which takes us to that hero point. Now, before I had mentioned uh, at this point of interest, there was like a gate in the way. And I said it was like on the third or fourth part of the map. It's not. It's on the second part of the map. I was slightly confused and incorrect. Um, but this is that hero point that you're, you'll see from the uh, Spur Bend Canyon with, in front of that gate. Um, this is the, how you get it. You, again, you can't. there's no gate for you to enter. Um, you can't enter that gate at any time. Seize this moment. Uh, just a quick note on these vine bridges here. Uh, we're in the middle of the, the sandstorm, so there's no event right now. But there is an event sometimes where these things need to be spawned. You need to complete the event and they'll grow. Uh, I'm currently in a hurry at the moment because we're in the middle of the sandstorm. This uh, point of interest that I'm heading to right now is locked behind uh, the map meta event. It's open at the moment, so I'm going to try to get there as fast as I can. I have a minute to get here, so I have plenty of time. But uh, the... Uh, this room in here, the point of interest is called Crag Rock Palace. I'm actually not 100% sure. I might be incorrect. You may not. You may be able to just get it by uh, walking to that door. But I couldn't get this rich quartz node if if uh, the door wasn't open. Okay, where I'm standing right now, the unswept, unswept upland. You see, there's a hero challenge on the map. It's pointing up. Uh, I, it is not possible. You can try to climb these things as much as you want. These uh, these orb thingies. You can't get to it from here. When I had mentioned earlier that there was a hero point in the third or fourth section of the map, it's actually that was actually the hero point. It's in the fourth section of the map, which I haven't gotten to yet. I'm in the third section of the map at the moment. Uh, it shows up on this section, but it is in the next section, kind of like the one before. Just a quick note on this point of interest here. Uh, this is Omad's machine down there that I'm looking at. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you guys never played uh, Living World Season 2, then you want to know what Omad's machine is. Uh, but it is worth mentioning that this will be, I think, in the next chapter of the Living World Season 3. If you played the fourth chapter of Living World Season 3, then you know that there was a reference to Omad's machine. And that time he is having it shipped to her in Radanovis. So that is Omad's machine right there. I'm assuming we're going to see it again. Alright, so anyway, so here I am in the uh, Challenger Cliffs, the fourth section of the map. And you can see the Hero Challenge is right up there. This is actually the last thing I need for map completion for this map. Jump in these orbs. Oh, shit. Now that you can glide, this became a lot easier to get. Uh, back before you could glide, it was a little, little more challenging. As you see, I'm screwing up right now as it is. There it is. And that is it for dry top, guys. Uh, this is a pretty easy map to map complete. There's a couple things that are uh, locked behind uh, the meta event on the map. Uh, some more minor than others, but you know, some of the uh, the major one in particular is this uh, abandoned mine uh, point of interest uh, the in, in the inquest area in uh, Prospect Valley. Outside of that, everything's pretty much obtainable at just about any time in the map. Again, some things close for a short amount of time, depending on an event, like the Vine Bridge will, uh, will despawn during an event. Stuff like that. Stuff that's minor. And you might not even ever notice if you're just coming in for just map completion. Uh, so, let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing too exciting. And that's going to be it for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.